Anyone can go pick out tires. But when you're trying to select something that makes the truck run well on the road in an autocross, you'd better not screw it up. We're just about ready to see this restored and modified Chevrolet C10 go to tear up the road. Now it's just a matter of finding the right treads that will keep the truck on the road. The tires and wheels, I mean, it's really everything. They can make it or break it. It's an inexpensive bolt-on part and you can either completely ruin a vehicle with them or you can really make something stand out. We looked at quite a few options and ended up settling on a forge line, their concave five-spoke wheel. It's something that's kind of right on the verge of being really pro touring and you know, kind of a little bit of a Euro look to it, but at the same time, it's a five spoke wheel, so it's got that traditional hot rod muscle car look to it. When it comes to mounting the wheels and tires, it's a pretty easy process when you're doing a 15 inch tire or something with a big sidewall, but when you get into these larger diameter wheel and tire combinations, you gotta really know your stuff. We went with the Pirelli tire on the back, uh, 315 and it goes on an 11 inch wheel. So it's a uh, pretty good rubber on the back. It'll get some good traction. The front tires, to capitalize on the benefits that the suspension will give you, you really need a good size tread width on the tire so it'll bite the road. We staggered them a bit, went a little bit smaller on the front. If you go kind of oversized on the front, it's great on the track, but on the street, it makes the car have a tendency to kind of wander and pick up imperfections in the road. So 295 is kind of a nice all around tire. Once the tires are all mounted and balanced and it's time to install them, it's a five lug Chevy pattern, so you slap that wheel up there and uh, just using a Craftsman Impact, we'll zip them on until we get that truck down on the ground and then kind of go around all four corners with a torque wrench, torque them all, take it for a spin, bring it back and torque them again and then they're locked down and ready to roll. The truck already got a nice little spin, but now we're ready to take it off the lift and push the envelope. Weeks of hard work and late nights are about to pay off. But we don't want anything to go wrong. So next episode, we'll go through the final checklist of the truck before we take it for the inaugural spin.